Can you find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of segment AB, where A is a negative 6, negative 3, and B is 2, comma 1? See if you can pause the video and do this problem. It's a multi-step problem, and there's a few formulas that you need to know, but see if you can give it your best shot, and we'll go through it together. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing a word problem is if possible, I like to try to draw a diagram. So that's what I've done here is I've plotted the two points here, negative six, negative three, and two, one. And what exactly does that mean, a perpendicular bisector? Well, a lot of times if you look at the word and just kind of take your time and break it down into smaller pieces, it tells you what it is. Perpendicular means that it's at a right angle to this line segment. And bisector, bi means two, sect means to like cut. So it's basically you're cutting this uh, segment into two equal parts. So let's take a look at the bisector part of this first. So the bisector means that it's cutting the segment in half, which means that it has to go through the midpoint. So the, one of the formulas that you're gonna wanna know is this midpoint formula right here. It's the average of the x values and the average of the y values. So we're taking x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So what you're doing is you're using these endpoints, and you can think of this as like a x1, y1, and this point over here as x2, y2. The 1 just means point number 1, and the 2 just represents point number 2. So let's go ahead and find that midpoint. So we have negative 6 plus 2 divided by two, it's like an average, and negative three plus one divided by two. So let's simplify, we've got a negative four divided by two, and here we got a negative two divided by two, and if we simplify that further, we get negative two comma negative one, that's our midpoint. Let's go ahead and graph that on here. So negative two, negative one right there is our midpoint, and now what we want to do is we want to find a line that's perpendicular or at a right angle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the slope of AB. Now another formula you're going to want to uh, memorize or just review here is the slope formula M. It's the difference in the Y values over the difference in the X values where we say Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So in this case, uh, let's do that. So we've got the slope, which is y2, so that's 1, minus negative 3, divided by x2 minus x1, so 2 minus negative 6. Now remember, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. So this comes out to 4 over 8, which is equal to 1 half. Now, sometimes students make a little mistake. They put the x's in the numerator and the y's in the denominator. But when we think of slope, we're thinking of the change in y over the change in x, or it's the rise over the run. Okay, now that we know what the slope of AB is, to find a perpendicular slope or a right angle to that slope, what we do is we take the opposite reciprocal. So the perpendicular slope is going to be flip it and change the sign. So it's going to be 2 over 1 and negative. If this was negative, this one would be positive. Of course, anything divided by 1 is just itself, so we can see that our perpendicular slope is going to be negative 2. Okay, so now we can write an equation of our line. We've got a point that the line goes through, and we have the slope of the line through that point. And another formula that you might want to review or remember is the point-slope form. So the point-slope form of the equation of a line is this guy right here. It's y minus y1 equals m, the slope, times x minus x1. And all the x1 and y1 represent, are the, it's the point that the line goes through. So in this case, since it's going through the midpoint, which we said was negative 2, negative 1, we're going to use that right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have y minus the y-coordinate, and we have the slope, which we said is negative 2, times x minus the x-coordinate. Remember, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. And then what we can do is we can rewrite it into the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line. That's the y equals mx plus b form by solving for y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the negative 2 into the parentheses. 
and then I'm going to get y by itself by doing the opposite. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. And so that gives us y is equal to negative 2x minus 5. And that's the equation of your perpendicular bisector. Now let's see if we can graph it on here just to visualize. So it has a y-intercept or a b-value of negative 5. So that's going to be right here. And it has a slope of negative 2, which means we go down 2 over 1, or we can go up 2 and left 1, up 2, left 1, up 2, left 1. So basically this line looks something like this. And you can see it's at a right angle, perpendicular, and it's bisecting or cutting that segment AB in half, and you got it. So if you want to see another example, I'll put a video right there, and you can practice and get some additional practice with this. And if you're new to the channel and you're just meeting me for the first time, my name is Mario. I'm a full-time tutor in my local area. I take the lessons that I work with with my students and I try to distill them down and put them up here on my Mars Math Tutor and YouTube channel so you can benefit from them as well. So if this is something you're interested in, take a look at some of my other videos and I'll see you over there.